hello everyone. Um, just thought I'd go on live. I was going to do a video, but I thought oh, I'll have to edit, upload, and all that kind of thing stuff. So I decided to go live. I am going to be streaming later on today with Nikki. Um, if all goes well. So um, if you decide to jump onto that stream after, um, it'll be shortly after this stream, and it will be on International Crafters on YouTube, International Crafters, so you guys can check that out. I'm not sure what we're doing today, but um, last week on, on there, actually, is paper dolls, different paper dolls, and Nikki made mermaids, so if you want to check out what we did last week, you can go on there. Anyways, I decided to make some more. Um, I thought they were really cute for journals and stuff like that. Um, like mixed media journals, we can add them to uh, anything really, but I just did these little children and I'm making a whole bunch more for <clears throat> my window display in my library. So I have all these that I'm kind of working on and I thought I would show you guys how I kind of started working on these. Pretty easy. I came up with a, a template that I made, two different stances. And um, yeah, so just gonna work on that. You can make them whatever you like, but I just thought they were really cute, especially for, you know, throwing in your journals or something like that. And I love making little stencils and saving them and, and doing that. And I was also thought, you know, I made a whole bunch of stencils out of um, kind of cardboard that's like the, drinking box cardboard of uh, like uh, those can club soda type cans that you have, you buy them in the box. And I made a bunch of stencils for, for people, like for the children in case I decided to use it as a craft idea, because I was thinking about doing a summer journal. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Julia. So it's been a long time and I have not had time to um, do a video. So I'm just going on live anyway. So I thought this would be a cute little, summer program like a uh, craft for the kids to do a little mini them so and uh, I thought I would do work on some here because I was working on some this morning and I did all these and I'm going to be streaming with Nikki today and I thought well why don't I come on and start showing you what I've done and how I kind of dress them so why not um how are you? Have how have you been? So I'm just uh, tracing out my template. This is the last. I had a few card stocks. I like to do it on the card stock. <clears throat> and um, I do different skin tones. And I kind of figure if the kids do this as a craft, they can do whatever they want for you know, clothing wise for the display in the window. What I'm wanting to do is a summer display. So I'm going to have them all like kind of in shorts and skirts and, you know, that kind of thing doing summer. I don't have like a whole bunch of templates for different summer activities. That would be a good idea, but just kind of enjoying the outdoors in their summer wear. With these guys, I kept them without shoes, and I thought that was cute. And I'm, like, really happy. Oops. Oh, my camera's really low. Really happy in how they turned out. So I'm going to do these ones with the backs covered as well. These are just my kind of template of how I was going to build them. Thank you. You're working on a Haunted Mansion journal. Ooh. Oh. That is so cool. I will check that out. So that's what I'm doing. So I want to do a bunch of kids in the, and um, yeah, these are all my children. So that's what I've been working on. So I just traced these ones here. And I thought I would, um, the, the, re, the way I'm thinking about doing it, the reason I'm thinking about doing it is two-sided this way, like having it two-sided. 
is because if I'm going to have it in the window, I would like to be able to the people on the inside see see the kids as well. So this is the one I'm going to cut out a little bit later. I'm just going to put it behind me, and now I'm going to start. And I have a bunch of um, leftover pieces, so I'm thinking I'll just have to redo their heads um, and just double up on their clothing on both sides, I'm thinking. So we'll see. Thank you. Anyway, so I have these cheap packs that I buy at um, the dollar store. And I know they're stamping up. I don't know how they, they get them there, but... They're probably just really old, um, you know, papers. I can't think of the word that I'm looking for, but anyway. So I cut out a few from before, you can see, and um, some clothing. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have to double up on their clothing from the back, for the back and the front, and um, decide what I'm going to do there. So I have the templates. I have the templates here that I can just kind of trace my clothing on and see I have lots of paper I want to see what colors I can really get here I'm going to my heater's coming on I'm just going to turn that off sorry I forgot about that I have a few reptiles in the room so they need a little bit to keep it a certain temperature and it's been raining so it's like mm, okay so I'm gonna do I'll use that up I want to grab some really bright colors here and if my dogs act up hey I'm sorry you can't predict live streaming you really can't I've got quite a few kids here to dress and I'm going to have to probably resort to different colors to different patterns but for now this is good so I'm just going to use the reverse side to trace on of course I made a mistake on some of them like I forget to go on a reverse side and I got my pencil marks and I gotta erase them but hey that's okay I'm gonna make t-shirts so this is just how I do it kind of just trace my template again they're all in different directions so I have two stances I have this one and this one so I gotta kind of make sure some different stances as well and this one is I'm gonna do and I like to color over them a bit too and with the pencil crayons and that kind of thing. So I always make the shirts a little longer and then I could snip them to the to the length that I like. So with this guy, I'm going to have to double it up. We'll see how that works. I might just <laughs> wonky houses you sent me oh cool she likes the wonky houses oh that's that's so cool <laughs> i was thinking about those wonky houses that i need to make more it's been such a long time i don't think i have any around anymore It's so neat how the little ones really like our art. <laughs> it's so cool how they. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they um really seem like my granddaughter just loves everything that I make. So I just love making her her stuff. So this guy, I got I got the pattern. So I gotta make sure that I flip it when I make the other side of his shirt. So I gotta try to work that out. I am still not sure about the hair. Like on my, we'll see, I'm kind of like playing with what I'm gonna do with the hair. But um, with these ones, I had hair. This is so cute. And I did like make different designs with um, 
pencil crayon, which is really nice to add. So when I do this one, I'm going to have to cut and I'm going to make a neckline and all that stuff too. Cut the reverse to, to copy the pattern of their shape of their bodies. When I was a kid, I loved making those little paper doll things where the little tabs flipped over. And I just found them really fun. They're such cute little designs too. Someone gave some to me in the mail. I still haven't used them because I just think they're so cute. So this will be the reverse side of this guy. I'm just going to kind of play with it. And uh, I do have some solid color cardstock too that I can make shirts out of. But I don't use these pattern papers too often. So I have a few of them. I have some Christmas ones, but I don't know. I don't really want to put Christmas sweaters on them, but that would be cute for um, Christmas time. I got to figure out what kind of uh, neckline I want. So I'm putting them back to back to the inside, like when you're sewing a design. And I just want to see what kind of neck I want. And I'm going to probably put a neck on both sides just because it is uh, going to be a reversible doll. Okay, so I'm going to do the neck on both sides. Sorry about the dog. Can't control the little ones. So this will be this side, maybe. I'm going to do shorts, too. I think that'll be cute. Super cute and easy. Um, oh, boy, those dogs. Sorry. <laughs> Super easy and cute. There's a cat outside that keeps trying to get attention to the Charity's cat that's here that I'm watching, and the dogs don't like that. So it'll be two-sided. I think that's super cute. Glue stick. I'm actually not sure if I want to glue it yet because I think I want to put pants or shorts underneath. So I'm going to do... There goes the dog barking going to grab okay thank you <laughs> I'm going to do sky blue I think or no maybe I'll do a really bright blue make it pop So that is what I'm doing. I'm not sure how long the stream will be because when Nikki wakes up, he'll be running over there. I'll be running over there. Where is my other guy? I'm going to do the same thing with the shorts. So I think this would be a cute little thing for kids journal. I like making those paper bag journals um, that the kids like to use and collect things for the summer. So the nice thing about those is that you can put things like this on there, like really fun, whimsical things. And I just put little marks so I know where I stopped. And, oh, silly dog. And they could put things in the paper bags. So I like that. So I think I'm going to be doing some of that more of those different variations of that. I did this in the middle of the paper, which I'm not thinking I shouldn't have done that. Although, let's see. I should have done it more up here because I am not paying attention to what I'm doing. Talking too much and my brain is like a little slow maybe. <laughs> I think this one is going to have the cute little, um, I want to cut the cute little zigzags on. Their waist or their little. 
just going to go over here and it's going to be about the same. I'll adjust it. It doesn't have to be perfect. But because I'm making them reversible, they're going to be. And I can make them. I don't have to um, cut them right up against the when I'm tracing either. Because I want to make, if I want the clothes to be more flowy. Clothing, more flowy. The thing is though, when I put them one side to the other side, then I can't just trim them up to match. But that's no problem once they're glued on the, the body. Thanks. Can you hear me good? Am I talking loud enough? So then once you got glued on, you just trim it up. Oh, I kind of don't know if I want to do zigzags on this one. So cute. So it's a little bigger than the body. Perfect. Thanks. But then I'm going to trim it up on this side to match a bit because the side's a little longer. Okay. I like this. I'm going to glue this on. My camera. I don't want to move my camera too much. I don't know what. My, my computer is very old and it kicks me off the camera super easy. And I think it's something in my computer because I've this is my first computer from the whole time doing YouTube still before that was using my phone. I might have to go revert back to my phone. I know it's been really weird that I'm not buying a computer. It's just I never have it's always there's always something else that needs to be done before that. <laughs> Seems like this is the one. It's always some other purchase that's more important. Okay, so now I'm going to put these pants on. I'm going to trim them up. You can see where I need to trim them up right here a bit. Right here. Super cute. I'm glad you're here because I feel a little bit more uh, relaxed. <laughs> a little bit more. I'm, sta I'm shaking. I'm actually like nervous. This is weird streaming by myself. It's been so long. All right. So that is cute little. They look like swimming shorts. I'm going too high. I'm sorry. They look like swimming shorts. My table's a constant mess these days. Now his shirt is a little bit thinner, so I'm going to cut it right to his body on the top part here. And that's that, really. And I'm just hoping that I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the hair. This is the reverse side. I kind of like the longer shirt, so I might not trim it. That looks good. Super cute little easy things. And this would be great for uh, an invitation birthday card or something too, right? Or just a card to your grandkids or, you know, cute little. I know you, you know, people have these punches and things that they can buy, but I, I do have some, a lot that I bought secondhand and stuff, but I don't have any children shape or people shape. And we can always make things on our own, so it's like so easy to really make a design and throw it in an envelope and save it, you know. I'm doing this super old school too because honestly, honestly, there's so much stuff that you can print up on the computer and all that kind of stuff and patterns, but it's kind of fun to just make up your own, you know, even though it's a common shape. Kind of fun just to play and do your own thing. So there we go. Matching shirt sides. We're going to move it around with the glue. I'm going to trim it up. The nice thing about the glue stick is if you get glue on there, you kind of just 
move it around with your fingers. I'm just going to trim it on this side a bit. So I'm really liking the double sided. Now I just got to figure out if I want to put hair in there. That's a thing. I can give it a try. I would have to add a face to one side with my leftover paper. I kind of think it's super cute. Oh, it's, it's, it's not, di don't be disappointed in yourself. Oh, I guess I should actually make sure that I'm got these chats that show up later. <laughs> it's, um, Julia, it's, uh, just need some inspiration and come up, you know, just sometimes you need a little inspiration. I'm going to go this way here. And it's always, sometimes you can look at someone else, you know, people, a lot of people come up with these ideas and you can still make your own thing out of it. I'm probably like, that's what I was like thinking, like, you know, I'm probably boring people to death because like majority of the people have all these like cutter machines and just these screens, they go on, they design something and it just does it for them, you know, like. I like that. It's cute. Like these, um, uh, um, those cool machines that just build little plastic pieces and stuff like that. I think they're so cool. You did watercolor of, of a tick. That's cool. I'm, I am now going to check what I want to do for hair. Do I want um, dark brown hair or black hair? I am not sure. I might do dark brown. I'll just I have to make my decision. I think I'm going to do dark brown. Got to design a hairstyle that I like for this person, this child. Ooh, did I design hairstyles? Maybe I shouldn't see if I made any. I don't think I made any. Maybe we can make some. Cardstock, where are you? Do I have some here? Okay, let's see here. I got a couple pieces. Thinking of it now, I should make a couple of different hair designs ahead of time. I don't know. I got a piece of the club soda box here, and I'm just going to maybe do one style hair right now. I don't know what I want to do, so I'm just going to copy the head rate. It's a second. Then I'm going to go a little bit above I'm going to make a part there. Okay, so this is the head. I don't know if you can see that. I made a bit of a part there. I'm going to go This would be the part I'm trying to figure out what I want for design for this particular hair right here. All right, I just got a little piece of I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I should probably make some tracers of hair designs. I didn't think about that. <laughs> hair styles styles are fun. And I got this ready edge here, so I had to make it kind of like a small hairdo. And now, of course, you could do like the um, so it would be like this kind of hairdo on this this kit right here. So, of course, you can do 
poofy hair and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to make more stencils for the future children here. But this is what I'm going to do for this guy. I'm going to do this little... The very dark brown is hard to see, especially probably on video. So I'm going to do that way. And then I'm going to go and do it this way. A horseshoe-y shape. So I could do it reversed as well. I kind of want to leave these guys blank faced because I wanted the people who saw them um, just have an imagination of like if they thought that that shape of a child reminded them of somebody or something like that. I kind of just want to leave that open like that and not particularly have like you know faces or freckles I mean I could I could have done that we'll see how it turned out because I kind of thought about that by just keeping it you know to people's imaginations if they're you know happy children and all that kind of stuff now let's see how this hair turns out because I didn't think of that ahead of time too much <laughs> And I know this video, I'm going to have to go back and I think I make sure that the chat is visible because I'm not sure. I didn't do that on there, I don't think so. And I should have. So I did the forward and reverse and I don't want to lose my hair stencil. That's a cute little hairstyle. We'll see how I like it with hair. If I like it with hair, then I'll do hair for all of them. I just got to figure out how to stick it so I can see on both sides. So hair, I kind of like that. That's really cool. And then the reverse. So then I, so let's do that. I am making a mess. I find if I use the tea towel, this is kind of like a placemat, like a big, no, it's, I think it's a tea towel. Yeah, that's what it is. And I can totally glue on it and it doesn't like, I just find that it's easier to do a lot of crafts on. It's kind of messy, but you know, you pick them up at the dollar store and I find that even if I get glue on it and stuff, it doesn't seem to transfer. It seems to be, I don't know, good. It seems to be a good surface to work on. So I've been working a lot on, on the, the tea towel. Kind of replace it when I decide that it's too crazy. So if I get glue on it, or, you know, close to being good, I didn't quite make the crayon. Let's do some crayons. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, for the, yeah, I just don't know. Like, I know it looks messy and I got some paint on it and I was kind of trying to avoid getting paint on it, but I'm like, eh, it really has an, a good background. I've tried everything and there's some things that are really like nice, but just something that I can immediately I don't have to worry about wiping it down and not getting like a mush of glue on me. I swear you see me glue a hundred times on here and there's nothing. So it's just, it just works. It just seems to work. So it's find something that you like. I mean, this might be a busy background, but this is what I got from Jackson because we did a, a mother's day um, gift thing. And this was a rolled up, little gift in the package and his mom got one and I got one for grandmother's you know and I thought it was super I did a little bit of around there my camera might not be picking it up because it's a little far up I'm not sure and I thought definitely what am I going to do with well I could could have used this tea towel but I'm like definitely wanted to just keep it special 
to the side. So I decided to use it here. I think I'm going to do a little stripes a little bit here on his arms, on his or hers. I'm not sure yet. And a little stripe here. on that shirt. That's very cute. A bit of a collar trim and cuff and bottom of the shirt trim. So that's my shirt. I think it's super cute. Nothing too crazy, but just to make it a little bit pop. I was thinking before, like, oh, I can ink the edges. I mean, you could do that. You ink the edges and all the things that we like to do in our mixed media. We can even stamp up some plain paper and make some really fancy clothing or whatever. But, or even, but um, I'm trying to make it just as, I don't know, cartoony, cute. And... That way I give them like, even if they have the same type of pattern of uh, thing, shirt or pants, I could um, change it up with my doodles on there. So I think that is my, I'm gonna use that dark blue if I can to get maybe a trim down the edge of the short. See if this blue will even pop with this. Might need a darker blue. Purple blue. A navy. I need to sharpen things. Pencil crayons. I keep all the old pencil crayons and it might break. So I'm just going to do a stripe. And it did break. Uh, uh. This pencil crayon has seen better days. It's probably fallen a few hundred times. Okay. And it broke. That's a fun video. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to sharpen it too much. So I want to do a little stripe here. A little stripe here. little pants uh, thing here. Wearing them. I have those little zippery, well, flap, a faux flap. It's like not a real flap here, but we can do little pockets. Looking cute. So now it's like two sided. So in the window, it's going to be pretty great. I think so. I always like to do my edges. And then, of course, I do like to color my edges here a little bit of the skin tones, like underneath parts a little darker. I did that with my last one. I might, I probably will do this with this one just to make a little pop, but that's just me being me and it's something that's probably not needed. <laughs> but there we go. That's super cute. Turned out super cute. So let's see with this guy. I just did a little bit of shading. I don't know if you can see it. No, I'm trying to flip. But I did a little bit of shading. Uh, I don't know if I will have the right pencil crayons here. I just did a little shading right around on the face. And that's what I did. A 
I'm going to do a little bit underneath. Just enough to see, you know, a little detail. People probably won't even see it, but <laughs> I will. I will see the detail and I will know it's there. And I would have had fun doing it, so. Under the foot, under where the sun is not necessarily getting a little darker shade at area. And that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm probably going to go because I have a ton more to make, but um, this video is a little bit on the long side. But also, too, I got to prepare because Nikki's going to be waking up soon because she's in New Zealand. <laughs> and um, I don't want to make her wait when she does get up. So I hope you guys have fun trying, trying this out and making some paper dolls for your journals or whatever, your fun summer stuff. And, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. Thank you um, for joining me on the chat. And thanks for the likes. Thank you very much. I hope to see you. Um, maybe I'll see you later on, Nikki, and my, uh, my stream on International Crafters. So don't forget, guys, to go out. Um, we usually start a little shortly after 11-ish, so she should be. <sighs> probably closer to 1130 ish or something but you know it's uh it is new zealand and i can't remember the time i have to go check the time here let's see where she is if i can just quickly check for you it is 4 57 a.m where she is right now so she'll be waking up soon <laughs> five something probably about close to 5 30 so yes that's um and here my time is nine or ten fifty eight a.m. So um, I will see you guys. Maybe for watching. Bye.